A new poll shows Palestinian support for Hamas in the West Bank has increased significantly since. The war with Israel began 10 weeks ago. The findings suggest that Israel's stated goal of occupying in Gaza, destroying Hamas as a political and military force that would never again threaten Israel kill 1,200 Jews, as it did on October 7, may be unattainable. And even if scores of militant leaders' fighters are killed, death and destruction caused by the Israeli Army Air Force may be strengthening Hamas in future. Support for Hamas among Palestinians in Gaza has risen from 38% to 42% since September. According to the poll released Wednesday, among Palestinians in the West Bank, the rate rose from 12% to 44%. Israelis can take some comfort from the finding that less than half of the region's Palestinians support Hamas. And that support has barely increased in Hamas-controlled Gaza. In fact, the findings lend some credence to anecdotal reports that many Gazans blame Hamas as much as Israel. For their current situation, the pollsters add it is worth noting that support for Hamas often rises temporarily during or Immediately after war, returning to previous level a few months after end of war, Hamas has no official position in these territories. Palestinians there are relatively moderate. Fatah, the ruling party of the Palestinian Authority, headquartered here, has long recognized Israel's right to exist. The new survey shows that it will be much more difficult to reach a peaceful solution. Fatah's leader, Mahmoud Abbas, is widely viewed as worn out, corrupt and ineffective. 92% of West Bankers surveyed want his resignation. Growing support for Hamas' more militant approach may be a response to a long history of brutal violence by Jewish settlers against Palestinians. S. Beatings. And property burnings. Biden recently imposed a visa ban on some of these violent settlers. But Netanyahu did nothing. Itamar ben Gvir, the ultra-nationalist national security minister who oversees Israeli police in the West Bank, even distributed rifles to extremist settlers. The war, which has sparked mass protests around the world, is straining U.S.-Israel relations even among strong supporters of the Jewish state. President Joe Biden has called on Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu multiple times to minimize civilian casualties while defending Israel's right to self-defense. Meeting in Jerusalem on Thursday, U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan told Defense Minister Yoav Gallant that Israel should complete the high-intensity phase of the war within a few weeks. Defeating Hamas will take more than a few months, Gallant said. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken warned Israeli officials earlier this month that international support, already waning, would not last for months. In perhaps most eyebrow-raising display tensions between the two countries, Democratic Rep. Steve Cohen, a Jewish lawmaker prominent supporter of Israel with